through us, ministers through us, encourages through us. Father, I pray that your Holy Spirit that will hover over this meeting today. I pray that everyone who's not here today, Lord, I pray that your Spirit will rest upon them, that you strengthen them. Anybody that are not well this morning, we declare to you healing. Yes. We proclaim over you healing and recovery. Speak recovery. We speak to your organ to be healed and be well in Jesus' name. Be made whole in Jesus' name. We speak to your mind to rest in the Lord thy God. And believe in his promise. And think in the way that we that bring him glory. Father God, thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. We speak peace. Shalom, shalom. Peace, peace be unto you. We bless your name. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord fill you today. Fill you with joy. Fill you with his love. If you don't feel the love of God, just by faith, Lord, I thank you. I have your love in me. I am loved by you. Love him and be loved by him. Hallelujah. We love you, Jesus. We honor you this morning as we come in close to the celebration of your birthday. I know that's not the right day you pray for birth, but Lord, we take it, we celebrate. This uh, coming weekend, we celebrate your birthday. And we honor you with praise. Lord. We honor you with love. We honor you with thanksgiving. We bless your name. We love you so much.
by yourself. Nobody yes. had to pull you up. I said, but the, but the angel of the Lord did come back and say, tap you on your noggin and say, you may now ride. I'm, see, I'm, uh, see you, don't, you don't know until you've had that taken. You don't know till your every move is not autonomic, but you have to tell yourself you're going to step through the pain. You're going to step through the anguish. anguish. Your joints are on fire, your knees are on fire, your ankles are on fire, and your skin is burning. And you have to go about the things that you do on a daily basis without thinking. The grace of God has kept you from yourself, kept you from the attack of the enemy, Amen. and covered you with his loving kindness and grace. You went into re to the refrigerator, the pantry, and you got food. Mm -hmm. You didn't have to go hunt, find, and whatnot. Mm -hmm. You didn't salvage the scraps. You didn't go through the day with an empty stomach. You had shelter from the heat, from the cold. You were able to lay down in a bed, and you didn't have to fight pestilence to get there. That's right. God is good. Amen. God is good. Amen. It's nice to look forward and have an expectation of the Lord for a better year, for better, and a more blessed. But don't remember rather don't forget what he's seen you through Amen. when the enemy comes to you and says give it up look back and say hold up wait a minute he brought me from a long way i'm not finished my journey the day is not done i'm not done till he says come on let's go it's time to go till he says that you're in the fight and if you don't think it's a fight you haven't been paying attention <laughs> it's a fight and sometimes the fight is with the guy in the mirror. Because sometimes the guy in the mirror says, oh, you know, hey, we can go left turn on the freeway right now and we'll find another way. But has that way ever worked out for you? How many people say, I got a plan, I got a plan, I got a plan. And you know what that plan ended up? You in a ditch, digging even deeper. God had to rescue you out of your plight. His grace and mercy. He's good, he's good, he's good. You've got through the hard time. You can never say to anybody, can never say to you, you haven't had an experience with God because you live through this nonsense. Oh, yes. You live through this nonsense. And if you think it's just you, read the book of Acts. Just go to Acts. I'm not telling you to go to Genesis. You go to Genesis, you get a front row view. Just read the book of Acts. And he's not done with us yet. This is going to be a, a memory, a glimpse in a memory. In about a year and a half, you're gonna you're not gonna even remember. You're gonna say, okay, who was the idiot that was in charge? You know, because it's not God. So lift your hands, be glad in your hearts, be joyful. Laughter does good as a medicine, and be healed and be whole, and have great expectation of the Lord, for His joy cometh. be encouraged into the next year. Yeah. I really believe the Lord's going to release in this, this, this season, in this next, next year, next uh, few months. So hold on to hope. Amen. Yes. And, and, and expect, uh, you know, and hope and praise God for his grace and for his mercy. Amen. And many of us come to this spot and say, okay, this is, this is enough. I had enough or that's it. Or, okay. So we all reach to a point where he's going to encourage us. He's going to enable us to go through the other side. Amen. Breakthrough to walk through, yes. but not to go around or avoid, but to go through. Because <laughs> in that capacity, he's going to show you who he is Amen. in his Abba Daddy, in his care and keeping power, in his love, filling us with his perfect love that removes all fear so we can trust in him because he's constantly asking, Trust me, trust me, yeah. trust, me. Yeah. trust me, trust me, even when it's you know the stupid stuff, the ridiculous yeah. stuff. Yeah. Again, do I have to deal with this? I'm still dealing with this, I'm still putting up with this. Is coming to a cease as we focus on Him in all yes. things. Because there's Amen. some crazier stuff coming. Yes. Well. Tell us, say that. Tell <laughs> but as we focus Testify. on Him yes. and Him alone and not alone. give too much ear, attention yes. to those things because they're distractions. Yes. They're meant to throw you off course and distract you, discourage you, discomfort you, even destroy you. Amen. But stay focused on the Lord. Amen. Proverbs 3 5 and 6. 
Hallelujah. And be encouraged in this season. No matter where you are in your walk and your journey with him, be encouraged because there's more and there's better to come. The abundance of the Lord is coming to fill your house and your coffers in this season. So be encouraged. It's going to change. Amen. Trust him. I'm saying trust that's me. Trust him. That's it. That's it. It's going to change for your good and for your blessing and for his glory. In amen. Jesus' name, amen. 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 I'm amen. trying to testify. Uh, I feel something you feel. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Something you know. I'm trying not to. Go ahead. Go ahead. someone a dear friend of your spouse go to Jesus if you, if you feel if you been if you feel betrayed or if you feel like you're left out from the world go to Jesus because yeah, because because yeah because you know, happiness is up there not down there yeah, it's like, say that it's like say that one. the choice yeah, you make man. the choice you make defines you so so choose Jesus or up or down and, and um, yeah so just keep praying for praying for others and and keep praying for others as they need to because there are a lot of kind people out there who don't know Christ and yes. because my father and I we pray for them because I'm willing to pray for those in a sense who don't know Christ because yes, yes, and, yeah, and it's like you, you want to bring those kind people up to heaven with you because they're super friendly yes. but they don't know. yeah but they don't know Jesus so I just pray for them I just pray for them. If, if someone's being abused at home, I just pray for them. I don't just, yeah, I mean, I, yeah, the least I can do is just pray. Amen. Yes. And, um, and, 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 and in Jesus Calling, it says, trust, trust, it says, trust me with all your thoughts. Yes. Trust me with all, if you're having some thoughts that are not too godly or not related to God, you know, switch up to more godly thoughts like prayer and, yes. Yes. like with prayer and, uh, yeah. and, um, yeah, and, and have uh, have something to always have something to uh, to pray about. Like pray for the military. Pray for, like pray for more Christian doctors, more, more Christian police officers, more more Christian uh, yeah, more Christian firefighters, more Christian yeah, more Christian teachers. Who, yeah, teachers more that, that need that need that need physical understanding, uh, mental understanding, and spiritual understanding. Because the devil hates us. No, <laughs> everything, everything yeah. is God. Yeah. And because First Peter chapter five verse eight, the devil's always prowling around like a roaring lion. That's why I always keep your shields up. Amen. Keep your shields up. Shields uh, up shield, 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 yeah. shield of faith. Always be on guard. Because yes. because the Antichrist can put a thought in your head that might guide you to where you're not supposed to go. That's it. Yes. And and you because yeah, be sure it's from the. Lord, like, like, I like peace, like, yeah. I, it's like, would you rather be angry or be happy, because, it's a choice, yeah, it's a choice, it's like, yeah, like, 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 the Romans, the book of Romans, or uh, Galatians, where it says, not do it the acts of the flesh, but the acts of the spirit, yeah, yeah. believers that make a make a good choice to to go to Jesus light and and Roman and um and I guess it's that's it. Jerome, yes. Is there any way you can pray? Pray that the Lord will raise
raise up more young people like him. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Raise up in his generation. Amen. More yes. of Albert generation. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes. Father, we just thank you right now. Yes, Lord. Father, for this yes. example yes. of a generation, Father. Yes. Those that are gathered around them and even our bread. Oh, shut up. Father, we reach out to them. And Father, we cast down every vain imagination that will war against their mind, That's right. their hearts, their emotion. Father, the spirit of fear will break in the name of Jesus. We come against torment, Father, in mind, body, and soul. We come against that spirit that causes them to hate themselves, Father, yes. and to hate you and to hate everything. Father, we cast down the fiery darts that have bombarded their mind, and we arrest the spirit of suicide in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Father, we of doing harm to oneself yes. and self-hatred. We speak life and life yes. more abundantly yes. to the heart, to the emotions, yes. to the mind. Yes. Father, we thank you that you're altering their footsteps and their path. Father, their associations and their environment, whether it be their home, Father, or even their neighborhoods. We cancel the assignment of premature death on them in the name of Jesus. Accidents, bullets, just wanton violence, Father, we arrest it in Jesus' name. Give your angels charge over them, Father, secure them in the name of Jesus. Father, go before them and be able to shield and a buckler and come behind in Jesus' name. Let them like and know good thing, but walk them out, Father, and let them see your salvation and your deliverance in your son, Jesus. Father, you're faithful that promises. All your promises are yea and amen. Father, we thank you that the generations are redeemed by your word. Yes, and by your covenant, Father, with man. We belong to you and not to this world. Father, not to the fallen one and not to the dark place. Father, we cancel the assignment of witchcraft and spell casting in Jesus' name. Father, whether it be in the music, whether it be in their eye gates, whether it be a seed planted, Father, in literature, even in school, in Jesus' name, in gender confusion. Father, we're stomping it down. You made man and woman. You didn't, you weren't confused. There was no 44 other, yeah, that ain't, yeah. That's nonsense. In the name of Jesus. Father, we just thank you right now that that, that, that is broken in this atmosphere, in this realm. Father, you said we're two or three, we're gathered together in your name, there you be. Whatsoever things we bound on earth will be bound in heaven. Whatsoever things we loose on earth will be loosed in heaven. We're loosing your gospel into this generation. We're loosing light and life and life more abundantly. We're canceling, Father, right now, intoxication. Father, we're canceling overdose in the name of Jesus. Father, we're canceling despair in the name of Jesus. And we're speaking life and life more abundantly. Father, healing of heart, healing of wounds. We arrest the spirit of anger and violence yes. and vengeance in Jesus' name. Yes. Let the bullets fall to the ground with their targets unaccomplished in Jesus' name. Yes. Let the weapons of the warfare, where the cars, Father, not another child life lost. Yes. In a hospital, with their parents, on the earth in Jesus' name. We cancel the onslaught, Father, of disease and if an infirmity against them in Jesus name that would render your word over them to be fruitful and multiply and would try to render it null and void we cancel the assignment of it in Jesus name and speak healing to the masses now father hold them breathe afresh upon them renew their spirits father their mind and their hope and their heart in Jesus name provide that they are covered provide that their meals are warm and hot and nourish their body Father, they might find a simple pleasure in just taking a breath. And Father, we just thank you, Father, that you're faithful. You have sustained us, and we know your word will not fall to the ground unaccomplished, nor will it return unto you for it, but it will accomplish what has been sent to, and it will testify as it goes. In Jesus' name. Now seal this word. Father, we bring the earth and the sun and the sea into witness this day. It's been released into this atmosphere. Yes. Father, we just thank you that it reverberates around this nation, around the globe itself. Yes. Yes. Above the ground and below, Father, in Jesus' name. Yes. There are the sons of God in the earth. We declare it so. Yes. In Jesus' name we pray. Can we blow this show, Father, and over that one? Jesus. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Jesus, thank you. Thank you.
just gonna say this. Yeah. And it didn't hit me till I got up here and yeah. until I showed up. But I can hear in the spirit, I hear the sound of dancing. I hear the sign of dancing. There's a shaking and a dancing. I hear the sound of dancing. Yes. Of dancing. Yes. They dance when they cross the Red Sea. They dance when they entered into the promised land. Because they were rejoicing of the great victory that God had done. I hear the sound of dancing. And that means that his presence is drawn even near. It's drawing nigh. It's coming. It's coming upon you. So don't think it's strange if you find yourself hit with the spirit of joy and you can't stop your feet. Yeah. Don't feel. Don't. He says. Jeremiah said it's like fire shut up in my bones. You're gonna to want to be still and you're not going to be able to. You're gonna get an indication of just what it means to be in the hand of the Lord, be in His presence. It's gonna change you. I'm telling you, it's gonna change you. He quickens and makes alive. He makes, there's nothing old in heaven. There's nothing, there, there is no grandpa and grandpa. They might, that's a title. That's not a, that's not an age destination. It's a title. Indeed. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, be warned. See? <laughs> Surgeon General ain't giving you this one. Just be warned. <laughs> I felt it in my feet. My heels were too high. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all keep doing it. Y'all keep pulling on me. I feel you. Don't you ain't saying nothing, but I see y'all pulling on me. That's okay. I, I know who you are. I know who you are. I'm not gonna mention names. I know who you are. You ain't fooling me. I want to ask that gentleman, my brother right there. Would you come and uh, is there anything in your mind you want to share or you want to pray? Or? Amen. Bless you. Amen. Can I share something I was revisited this morning about the spirit of joy? Yes. Mm. What's the kingdom of God? Joy. Righteousness, Righteousness, peace, peace and in the Holy oh, no. Spirit. Yes. Amen. That's, you know, I think Romans 14, 70. But the thing is, back in 93, I was going through, you know, a bunch of loss and going through my, my test. You know, with no money. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> just to, but I woke up one morning and I was, my stomach was hurting, my cheekbones hurt, and I was, the Lord showed me something in the spirit. I can't explain it. And I was like, I knew it was him. It was the father. He's hysterical. He's hysterical. He, he gave me a gift. He put in my spirit the, the, the joy of the Lord. And so that was the joy of the Lord is our what? Strength. Hello. Yes. Yes. To conquer, to go through, to. To, 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 to be at peace, to enter into, to warfare, to pray. It's the joy of the Lord is our strength. Yeah. So so receive the joy of the Lord, yeah. the joy of the yeah. Lord, especially in this season, this yeah. real time season. It's Jesus, the reason for the season. Yeah. It's the joy of the Lord. So receive it. Ask for it. More of it. If you have the joy. And say, hey, re redo that thing, Lord. Just uh, yeah. re-up. <laughs> like, yeah. like the addict said, let me re-up. <laughs> let me re-up on joy of the Lord. So you can not just get through this season, but prosper and be joyful in it and be victorious that you are and, and be the overcomer he's called you already because you're his and you're in him and he's in you and you have the victory already hallelujah hey amen yeah okay and one thing you said that we have to pray about this is for folks that you know season prayer warriors and whatnot is uh that with the way we pray to know where we are in our prayers but also he he said a word that confirmed i was speaking with a uh, uh, man of god this morning and the Holy Spirit showed up and showed us some stuff. It's like, wow, we need to learn how to pray for it. Like the frontline doctors. To eat, pray for more spirit field. Because it's them that are going to these areas. Yeah. We can pray against, you know, COVID and all that stuff. But yeah. who knows the specific details, the in and outs of it, the, you know, the, the, the requirements, the specifications, the details of how this thing operates, our doctors and stuff. Who knows how to, you know, take care of a burning building, the fire. We have spirit-filled believers in these capacities. That's right. that's where the warfare is really met, and the and the, the ground is gained on earth as it is in heaven. Yeah, yeah. And we see, we begin to see the victory manifest before us. Those kinds of people. So I, I'm not saying don't you know stop praying. Don't pray out of your your place. No, know where you're praying, praying yeah. from. Yes. Your position, it, but to pray for them. Yes. Those doctors yes. and nurses yes. and firefighters oh, yes. and, and folks that are on those kinds of front yes. lines. Yes. There's been too many of them carnally. 
yes. in those places. Yes. And we here's the result now, right? <laughs> in, in legislature, in the executive, legislative, yeah. judicial branches of government, yeah. it flows on down. Pray for spirit-filled Christian believers yes. to come in those yes. places and yes. begin to execute who they are Amen. in those regions, in those places, so we begin to see the kingdom of God on earth yes. as it is in heaven. Amen. So that those who pray, pray in that capacity, yes. but know our place, because we can't become outside of that and be ineffective. We don't want to be trespassing where we're not called That's right. or let us, Holy Spirit. Can I get a high five on that? <laughs> <laughs> and Jesus' name, amen. I'll stop there. Thank you, Lord. Oh, in the wrong place. Oh, okay. In the wrong time. That's not a good thing. That's your seat, so. <laughs> You're outside your place. Uh oh. Now, guess who can get to you? We don't want that. We want to be in our place. So. Right. I'll stop there. Amen. Praise God. Amen. 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 And there's another thing. As we enter into a new season, Lord was sharing with me this morning about we can speak to the mountain yeah. and command that mountain to be removed. Say that. We have the authority. He says, but when you speak, you must believe that yes. you are receive yes. what you've asked for. Yes. And that's the key. Amen. So with this poverty, you command that spirit of poverty to move, be removed from you in the name of Jesus. Yes. And if it's hate, command that spirit of hate yeah. to be moved out of your way in the name of Jesus. For God said, great is he that is in you than he that is in the world. He is within us. And when we're speaking, he's the one doing the speaking. And as long as we use the word of God, he said it will not return unto him void. Yes. And if you need something to dry up, he spoke to the fig tree oh, yeah. and told it Come to on. dry up at the roots. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. And then things in your household that need Come to be dried yes. up. You don't have to talk to it, but you can talk to God yes. and about it and command that thing to be dried up yes. in Jesus' name. Amen. My husband told me, he said, girl, you need to tell these women what you do to me. You know, it's like God is good. He has shown me what to do. We don't have to walk around like we don't have authority anymore or if we're stuck Come anymore. On. All you need to do is speak to the mountain yeah. and command it to be removed in Jesus' name. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. We need to walk in our authority. <laughs> we are not weak Christians. That's we are not limited. We only limit ourselves That's because right. we're not walking out on what he's given to us. Hallelujah. So I know we have victory in 2022. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. To Hallelujah. Yeah. Everything that's been said here today, God has heard it yes. and, been, and believed that he's going to answer it. Yes. And yes. with no yes. doubt, yes. Hallelujah, right. to God oh, be the glory. Oh, Woo. He's king. He's king. Yes. Hallelujah. We yes. ought to act like we're the king's kids. Hallelujah. Yeah. Right. To God be the glory. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. 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 <laughs> Don't let the enemy make you think somehow you're not worthy. Yes, because you had that moment where you stumble. And because you stumble, you're thinking, I can't say nothing. No, no, no. See, that's the game you play. He don't want you to speak because you have authority to speak in the earth. Did you not get redeemed by Jesus? Did you not be redeemed by Jesus? Did you not be covered by the blood? Yes. Okay, you know that makes you equal to Adam, and then you got gifts yet still, because you got the Holy Spirit. You got more, you have legal right in the earth. That's right. That's why he said, where two or three were gathered together in my name, there I am in the midst. Yes. Because you have legal latitude to speak a thing. That's why you don't have to fight with governments. You ain't got to fight with ruffle feathers. Speak to the mountain yes. and watch it be moved. Yes. Watch the valley be filled in. Don't walk in fear. See, it's only a word away. Yes. He is the word made flesh. Yes. Quiet as it's kept. He the word holding you together. Well, and say ain't nothing around. There's there is no lack. Okay, I ain't trying to preach. I'm just trying to see. Keep going. Stop. Just trying to fold it. Just trying to throw something in the pot. There you go. Keep going. Don't see it. Keep throwing it. Keep throwing it. If we need, we need that. Because we all need each other. Yes, we do. You have your part. I have mine. A little bit more. 
No, I, I enjoyed that. Keep going. No, I, any, anyone want to throw something in the pot? She had come down with an allergic reaction to something, and she called me and said she was sick. And I had just been reading that scripture. And we were supposed to go over to her house, and I said, Bruce, this is the scripture we need to pray over her when we get there. So I came into agreement with the scripture. We went over to her house, and she said, you know what? I'm already healed. I was instantly healed. That was just my coming into agreement with her <coughs> and declaring it. Yes, Amen. yes, yes. It's a powerful yes. scripture. Oh, yes. I had a dream last night. It was really, I'm saying, Lord, thank you for these dreams. The dream was I was going in to do evangelism. It was like and, uh, every every people that I ever touched, like I go there, it was like people were instantly healed. You know, like, it was like it was like so easy. It was not like you go over there and, and say a long prayer. Right. You just go in there and put your hand and say, Lord, that's it. thank you that's for it. making him whole. Yes. And it was like that. It Amen. was so. Amen. It was so powerful. Amen. Amen. So I really felt like there was a healing anointing that God is resting upon yes, yes. each and yeah. every one of us. Yes. Amen. You don't have to shout. You don't have to yeah. do all those crazy stuff. <laughs> you just say, Father, thank you. Thank you for healing or yes. making me or her whole. And He will do the job in yes, Jesus' mighty name. Amen. You know. Amen. And I, I really felt like in my heart last night that there was a healing anointing over everyone in this place. Amen. Release that. Yes. You know, don't think that you're, Amen. you know, don't ever think about, oh, I'm not worthy, like what you've been mentioned about. I'm not worthy enough to pray for someone. It's not you who do the That's healing. Right. You are just a vessel Thank you. releasing. Right. Be a That's hand it. extended of the Lord to people. And God will do the work. Hallelujah. Show up so he can show up. Yeah, just show up. <laughs> you're the carrier of the oil. Yes. Amen. He says you're, you're the earthen vessel yes. that he's pulled the oil of the spirit into. Amen. And it's poured into you so you can pour it out of you. Hallelujah. Because that little That's oil it. that you give out is healing. Amen. And then he, gonna, he will refill your oil vessel. He will renew the oil. Yes, It'll spring up from the inside of you. <laughs> a fountain of refreshing, a fountain of his anointing. And just so you know, just because we say it all the time, it's people nod their head like they understand. Understand that the anointing is the manifest presence of God. That is the Shekinah yes. glory being imparted. That changes everything. It changes everything. It's, there's no argument. There's, the enemy can't even come close. It's when it's done, it's done. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Place, her muscle, you could feel how tight it was. And I, I just agree with the word of God, and it released. And she was able to move, and then she almost went out in the spirit. We had to set her down. So God is real. Hallelujah. Yes, He is. Yes, He is. Go ahead, sister. And also, when I asked uh, her to pray and Pastor Fatia, because we were the only ones here in Gerald, and when Pastor Al starts saying about joy, it is so true. Yes. I can tell when someone has a joy of the Lord. Amen. I can tell when there's a false joy. Oh, wow. There is no no false. Yeah. It's real in reality. Right. And when the joy of the Lord gives me the strength, he heals my body. Yes. And I wanted to keep dancing. <laughs> yeah. Because that's what he put in yes. my, my heart is to dance before him yes. in the glory. Him all the glory. Everything. Everything yes. you do. Yes. Everything you say. Right. You need to give him every bit of the glory. That's right. Never look to man or woman. Look to him. That's right. Because he's the only one who will never fail you. Right. We fail, but he doesn't fail. Yeah. Remember, Amen. look to him. Yeah. Always look to him. This new year of 2022, I I thank God for every person that's been here since I've been coming and my son. Everything we've been hearing, then we listen to the video. We, we watch it. Amen. Everything has come to pass. Amen. God has heard 
our prayers. Yes, yes. And he's going to continue hearing our prayers. Yes. As we stand in the gap and intercede yes. and pray for our loved ones, those that haven't been saved yet, Amen. or those that have backslid. Yeah. Everything is in the Bible. There's nothing missing. Amen. Everything's there. Yes. Everything. Yes. For ourselves, for everyone in the world. Yes. And that's why we need to continue to rejoice and give that joy to others because that's healing yeah. that's healing so i thank you for sharing that pastor al about Amen. joy because Amen. ever since then i've been getting joy and when i get joy watch out i can't help it, I can't help it. it's only him so praise god praise the lord thank you so much every one of you that has wow. been present here everyone has given something out of your heart yes. yeah. even just to be here together as one when I heard about all you pastors, all of you coming here and the vision that Pastor Frida had and others, oh, I was so excited. I said, this is what we want, unity. Yeah. We want unity in the body of Christ, like in Psalms says, unity in the body of Christ. I think it's Psalms 1 and 19. Oh my God, this is what the really Lord wants, is unity among the body of Christ. Yeah. Are we really gonna come together like this? Because every one of you have gifts. Every yes. one of you yes. have gifts. And God wants to use those gifts even stronger for this coming year. That's right. Yeah. So I thank yeah. the Lord because we're here together as a body of Christ. Yes. This is the church right here. And wherever we go, we bring Jesus. We Amen. bring Jesus. Amen. Everywhere we go. <laughs> and I thank the Lord for every one of you. And I love every one of you. Love you too. Amen. Amen. Here's a song I want to sing. Love you with the love of the Lord. Yes, I love you with the love of the Lord. I can see in you the glory of my King. Yes, I love you with the love of the Lord. Everyone can sing that. Amen. I love you with the look at each other of the Lord. Yes, I love you with the love of the Lord. I can see in you the glory of my King. Yes, I love you with the love of the Lord. She sent out a message. She said, it's going to be uh, what, 60 something degrees, strong winds, and blah, blah, blah. So I said, now, what did we just learn about speaking to the wind, <laughs> telling it to die, <laughs> and, and, and calling forth the warmth in the in the weather, right? Amen. So that's exactly what he's done. We wouldn't be here because this morning it was 45 degrees. Yes, it was. Hallelujah. Oh, it's it's so. good. And look at God. Turn down the heater. Look, I tell you, the heater been on too. 80 degrees. I tell you, God will do it. But we have to believe him that he will do what he says he will do. If he did it for Joshua, he'll Amen. do it for us. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. To God be the glory. You know, Amen. so it is beautiful. It's like. God is is building our faith yes. stronger in Him, yes. so that we will not back up, That's right. that we'll walk forward. Hello. And this is what's happening to us. He said, where we used to be in in 2020 and in 2021, we won't be that no. way anymore. In yes. 2022, no you're gonna be totally different. You're gonna be surprised Woo. at what the glory of the Lord is gonna do and, and come <laughs> over you. Speak it. You're gonna be surprised that when you go to say something negative, your, your tongue is gonna lock yes. because it's not gonna. God is not gonna allow you to speak it over yourself. Please. You have to realize that when the world was created, it was created by words. And if we're made in the image of Christ Jesus, when we speak something, we are creating our world. Hallelujah. So we have to speak things that are positive. Speak the word. That's why he told us, stay in the word of God. Because when you stay in the word and when you start talking, you're going to be talking like Jesus. And you're going to be walking like Jesus and acting like Jesus. And this is what he wants us to be in the image of him. Right? So it's like, it's time out. Things, and I'm trying to say it nicely. <laughs> she try, try, try. Try. I'm trying to say it nicely. Go ahead. It is time out for us whining. Oh, please. And again. sucking our thumbs. It is time out for that, God said. Because what He's going to do, and He showed me, He said, those that you leaned on all the time, He's 
gonna move them out of the way. Yeah. And then you're gonna have to come to him by yourself. There you go. And then he wants to show you who he is yes, in he is. you and through you. Hallelujah. So he said, it's time to say, okay, Lord, I'm not gonna lean on so-and-so. I'm gonna lean on you. Yes. Yeah. What's that song that says, leaning, leaning, leaning. You know, there's burnout with the doctors and with yeah. all the healthcare workers. Yeah. We're in crisis trying to fill the positions because, you know, we're in what's called the Great American Re um, Resignation. Nobody's working. We can't fill, fill the, the positions. All this negative stuff going on. And they said, no, let's bring somebody in. And it's almost like trial by fire, right? But <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> when it gets bad, bring in a new person that, that's going to uh, see us through. But on top of that, on top of that, I got noticed yesterday that they uh, voted for an increase in my salary. Praise God. Even knowing I'm leaving. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. That, 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 more, that more than pays for my, for my new car. 
Testimonies and, and drop, God dropped my spirit uh, mental fortitude. Yes. Mental fortitude. I was Amen. like, okay, let me get some more on that. And, and uh, Pastor Mary jumped right on in there to edify in that Thank capacity. You, and then a couple of scriptures, you know, 2 Corinthians uh, 10, yeah. you know, 3 to 6. Yeah. Uh, for we, uh, he says, uh, <laughs> for the weapons of our warfare, this verse 4, yes. are not yes. carnal, but mighty in God. Woo! Pulling down the strongholds, yeah. 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 casting down the arguments and yes. every Amen. high thing that exalts itself. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God. Yes. Bringing every thought yeah. into yeah. captivity. Yes. Hallelujah. Uh, and, and to the obedience of Christ. Amen. To the obedience of Christ. And being ready to punish all disobedience. When? Well, your obedience is fulfilled. <laughs> well, and then she spoke of Philippians 4 8. Finally, brother. Hallelujah. Whatever things are true. Whatever things are noble, whatever things are just, whatever things are pure, whatever things are lovely, yes. hallelujah, whatever things are of good report, if there's any virtue and if there's anything praiseworthy, meditate on these things. That's what we're to think about. Like and that's the word of God. Choose. Choose. Yes. Yes. We have a choice. And, and to, the thoughts, you may not know it's uh, from your flesh, from the spirit, from the enemy. What? Cast Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> Cast Capture the thought, give it to him, yes. and, and then move forward. So, I believe I wanted to release a prayer if you receive it, be in yes. agreement. Yes. Go for it. For <laughs> mental fortitude. Yes. 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 For Jesus' name. So, Father, in Jesus' name, I just release from heaven right now the mental fortitude we have right now that's with the helmet of salvation yes. that keeps us focused on you and hearing and discerning not yes, only with our spiritual ears but perceiving with our heart that which concerneth you and your word and our purposes and your promises and your destiny in each and every one of our lives right, father right, i thank right, you that we shall not be disrailed but we shall worship right. and joyfully worship Woo! into this new season yes, yes. with a great mental yes. fortitude to say focus on you and your promises that are yes and amen yes. because you love us you're for us you're with us you have blessed yes. us with every spiritual gift and promise in christ jesus Hallelujah. We receive right now the mental fortitude of heaven 
Yes. That, that repels the fiery darts and thoughts of the enemy right now. And it keeps us focused on you for the ways and the days ahead, yes. even the months and the years. In Jesus' holy name, and all who love God will receive the prayer in agreement with it. Say, Amen. 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 In Jesus' name. Woo. Come on, give God some praise. In Jesus' name. Yes. And your problem with that would be exactly what. I'm going to say this to you because it's something I learned as a child, very young. It's a scripture. And I was reading it. It says, be aware of the fact that the angel of the Lord is with you at all times. Amen. He's a scribe. So everything that you speak, he's keeping track of. Uh-oh, say it again. Come on. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh -oh. Say it again. Exactly. <laughs> everything. Everything that you utter, he's keeping track of. Why? Because you're created in his image. So everything you say negatively, which the enemy wants you to say, by the way, because he has no authority, you give life to that thing. Everything that you spend contrary to the good report, he knows. Everything that you speak of God, of your love for him, your praise, your thankfulness, it's placed in a special book of remembrance. Don't think you're getting away because there is no getaway. He says he knows. He actually hears your thoughts before you think of them, before you even utter them. It's just that. One of the things, the strengths, even when the enemy would come to tempt me, and sometimes I'd be mad at folks. I'd want to say something. And I said, ah, somebody word. keeping track of that. I can't, I can't do that. I can't do that. Years later, he told me, he said, what, this was in the 70s. He said, he came to me and told me, he said, okay, this is for you. He said, I'm holding you account of everything you say. You don't have the luxury of saying anything untoward because I'm holding your words accountable. And I'm not gonna get into all that because anyway, but he said, you don't have that luxury. It's, a, it's an accountability. There's an accountability <laughs> that we have to God for the gift that he has given us, yeah. both for our life as well. You have any doubt of it? Go check out the prodigal son. Go check out the prodigal son and begin to understand. Begin to understand. There's a responsibility. You think your life is your own. It's not. It was a gift. It was given to you. Yes. But you know what? When he gives you something, you know what you're supposed to do? give it back to him because you can't make it happen you can't make it actualize you got dreams but your dreams will not manifest unless you give it back to him you got to dream because that's the seed he is the one that makes the seed multiply he's the one that makes it happen I'm trying to stop. He just told me one other thing. I'm going to be about my Don't business. Stop. Keep going. I'm going to stop. Keep going. The fallacy of man is that we think we have to do this on our own sweat and toil. No. Show me the scripture where your sweat and toil has anything to do with anything that God has done. A man said they want to erect a mighty monument. Well, it won't be here when the world comes to an end. And it will come to an end. So only what you do for him is going to last. Yes, yes. Only what you do for him. It's his vision. He gave you the dream because he wants you to see it when it happens. Those little dreams that you got are signposts in your life. As you go down the highway, so when they are achieved, he'll bring them back to your memory so you understand you didn't get here by accident. Right. It wasn't coincidence, it wasn't luck. He ordered your footsteps. He sustained you even when you didn't know any better. And he'll bring you into the promise. For many of us, we're in a season now, we're about to step into the promise we've been waiting for for 40 plus years. 40 plus years of praying, of having many stripes, not by enemies, but by friends and relatives, people that you know. You know, okay? We didn't go tit for tat. They are still in the land of the living. Know that that's the grace of God, please. I'm not making it up. It's because it's, it's going to be like that sometime. But scripture bears it out. But nevertheless, he created you for glory. He created you to walk through it. It's a small thing. It's the price we pay. 
I'm going to say this and some of my friends don't like it. Okay. But anyway, I'm going to say it to you anyway. Because this is what heaven is built on. Everything in this world says you have to have a degree to do anything except in the kingdom of God. Your piece of paper will not pass the fire test. It will not pass the fire test. It's not made out of gold. But when Jesus returned to him, he said, Lord, let me see your wounds in your hands. There isn't a man of God or woman of God that doesn't have the scars. Those are medals of our honor that we have that the angels don't. That's what's going to make the difference. Because it says that you didn't turn back, you didn't shy away, and you didn't retaliate. You took it for your God, for your king, for your father. And you did it because you loved him. And that's the reason you were able to stand. And when we're in eternity looking back, we're going to see how glad we were to endure that little bitty thing for the moment because of the greatness that it has wrought in our eternity forever with him. Do not be discouraged. It's a small thing. You can get through it. Yeah. 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 And because Jerome was talking a good word, oh, well, bless Jerome, you. because you did a good job sharing today, Everyone is going to follow you for lunch today. <laughs> really? Yeah, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm like, okay. Alfred, you want to close us in prayer? Bless. Um, sure. And bless sure. everybody. Hey, by all means. Just release blessing over everyone to this morning and then close us out in prayer. Amen. Father God, we thank you for today's message. We we um and we speak grace over those who are who that we thank you for those who couldn't make it and those who were able to make it. Yes. And Lord, we uh, we we thank you for today's message. We thank you for your wisdom, dear Father God. We we love you, dear Father God. We ask that you protect us and guard us as um, as we make our departure. We guard guard, guard us, your yeah. angels, thank so you. that way we stay safe and. And we bless you, Lord, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Yeah. Hallelujah. May Amen. the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. And may the Lord lift his countenance upon you and give you shalom. Amen. Amen. Shalom. 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 In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Shalom. Praise God.
Today we're going to talk about a little bit how we look at the Word of God and also know that there's hope for our loved ones that have gone on to be with the Lord. When we look at Luke chapter 16, verses 19 through 22, Lazarus means God has helped. Lazarus was a good man, but life seemed to have gotten him down. But the Lord didn't forget him. The parable sends a message that worldly and earthly possessions are no benefit in the afterlife. Those who have suffered on earth will receive their reward in heaven. Reading from the Gospel of Luke, from the New Century Version, it says, Jesus said, there was a rich man who always dressed in finest clothes. He lived in luxury every day. There was also a very poor man named Lazarus, whose body was covered with sores. Lazarus was often placed at the rich man's gate. He wanted to eat only the small pieces of food that fell from the rich man's table, and a dog would come and lick his sword. Later, Lazarus died. The angels took Lazarus and placed him in the arms of Abraham. The rich man died too and was buried, but he did not end up where Lazarus was resting in the arms. Jesus says, I am the resurrection. I don't need it. I am the resurrection and the life. He who believes in me will have life even if he dies. And he who lives and believes in me will never die. Hallelujah. Your young one has changed. Your young ones have changed residence. Your loved ones will never experience the longest night of the year ever again. Praise be to God, the Father of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Uh, he comforts us every time we have difficulty so that we can comfort others uh, when they have difficulty. Your loved ones are resting now from all the drudgery of life itself. Uh, it's mental anguish uh, and torment and misunderstandings. They are resting in the name of Jesus. Uh, all the worry is gone, the pain is gone, the loneliness is gone, the hungriness is gone, and all anguish of the night. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Woo! They are resting in the arms of Jesus. And I, want to, I have a special prayer for all of you that are here and that have lost a loved one due to homelessness. I apply the blood of Jesus to your emotions. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob lift up the glory of his countenance upon your faces today. May the Lord cause his face to shine on you and remove the pain that you're experiencing. May you know God is on your side. May the Lord give you grace poured from heaven above. And may the Lord watch over you every day of your life. May you be brought into the covenant love of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Oh, that you will know the depth, the length, the width of his love. Hallelujah. That it will comfort you in the days of sorrow and depression. It is the blood that is going to bring you all the way through. It is the length of his love and the height of it will bring you all to where you need to be. Hallelujah. During this time of sorrow, look to the hills of which come at your help. Your help comes from the Lord. May the Lord bless you and keep you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Please pray with me. I just really felt like the Lord wanted me to do this. I said, Dear Heavenly Father, I give you my life today. I accept Jesus in my heart as my Lord and Savior. I make him as king in my heart. From this day forward, I will live for him. 
In Jesus' name, amen. I do want to um, honor that we know that those who are attending here are doing so in solidarity with all those lost and may not all have be from the same religious tradition. Um, and we just thank you all for, for uh, being here to honor those who are lost. Um, regardless of your religious tradition, we appreciate that you're here today. I would like to invite um, Assistant Chief Eric Sonsigard to share a few words on behalf of the Oxnard Police Department. It's uh, my pleasure to be here and I, I bring with you today the greetings uh, from the men and women of the Oxnard Police Department that are out in our community every day, every night, on holidays, on weekends, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, uh, here serving the community, uh, making the community a safer place for all of us. Uh, when Melissa asked me to say a couple of words, uh, what she talked about, what she had on there was who are the homeless and I think we all know who the homeless are. The homeless are our brothers and sisters, our neighbors, the people that we used to work with, our bosses, our co-workers, our sons and daughters, and our friends, maybe we went to high school with. Um, it's all of those people. And that's something that the men and women, I talk to about, to the people uh, at the Oxnard Police Department all the time. When I started in this line of work in the early 90s, we just did not have this issue. Uh, perhaps it was a little more hidden, but we all know that uh, a variety of factors over the last couple of decades have brought us to where we are now. And it, it's gonna take a team effort. It's certainly not a, a police-centric issue. We recognize that. Uh, we view our successes dealing with the homeless when there are no arrests and we provide services and we're the bridge together that, that can provide those resources. We recently did a pretty large operation in South Oxnard and there wasn't one arrest made the entire operation. All we did was provide services and get people into the, to the housing and the resources they needed. So we view that as a, as a success. So um, it's a very, it's a somber day, but it's also a special day where we remember those individuals, like I said, our, our, our brothers and sisters, our kids, our moms, our dads that lost their lives in this last year. 
but know that the Oxnard Police Department will continue to work with the religious community and all the homeless services that are here from the city and the county to try to fight this issue moving forward. So thank you very much. Advocate for the homeless, Mr. Jack Villa. Thank you. Uh, let me, I am, uh, my name is Jack Villa and I am uh, a commissioner for the homeless uh, commission in the city of Oxnard. I would just want to take this moment to recognize my other commissioners, mm -hmm. uh, Ruby Durius and, Ruby, and Renee Camper-Stewart, uh, Yukio Okana, and David Littell, and Alex Regoso. So, so thank you to, to, the, to the commission. Um, for those who have lost their lives due to homelessness, we are lamenting as neighbors. Let's show our compassion. Understanding empathy with dignity and respect. Let our humanity shine. Everyone has the abilities for change when help and services and assistance are in place. Community and community leaders just, just doing something is not enough and doing nothing is not an option. Let's move to a better place. Family members are one job, one paycheck, one illness, one family tragedy from homelessness. Everyone has the ability to change. Conscious inclusion of hope. Give them that good feeling. Relay a trust and respect. Greet them with a smile, a good morning, a hello, a hope for a moment, the feeling of belonging. Let's all the participants, let us all participate in the, excuse me, in the solution. A feeling that society has not forgotten them. Thank you. We're also going to have someone ringing a singing bowl and lighting candles for each name read. Abraham. Gregory Alderson, Abel Angelis, Benjamin Aragon, Robert Elia, Micah Engelhart, Mark Estelle, Gregory Ferguson, Del Ontiveros, Leon Parks, Hector Perez Cuevas, Daniel Peters, Michael Peterson, Juan Rodriguez, Tabitha Rushing, Ruben Santana Jr., Andrew Savchenko, Dean Schmigdal, Darnell Seeley, Travis Sessions. We'll also provide an opportunity during the sharing time. We'd like to hear some music from Dr. Ted Lucas. The name of this song is Ashokan Farewell. You may know it if about 30 years ago you saw the series on television called The Civil War by Ken Burns. And they showed a Union soldier who was killed at the first battle of Bull Run right after he wrote a letter to his wife, Sarah. His name was Sullivan Ballou. And they read this letter that he wrote to his wife and they showed the picture of the Union soldier. This is the song they played.
hear from an advocate for the homeless, Ms. Irene Johnston. Johnson, sorry. I lived in the Santa Clara River bottom for about three years. And I was like, I feel very honored that I'm here with you guys today, <laughs> um, that I get to share with you. Um, I think the biggest thing that stands out for me is the transition from homelessness to, you know, housing. And uh, <laughs> I'm a little bit nervous. Um, it's a hard, it's hard, you know, but I didn't know that so many people cared about the fact that I was homeless and wanted to help me get out of it. You know, I kind of um, just thought, you know, nobody cared, but there's a lot of people out there that care. I didn't realize that. And uh, <laughs> um, God, I don't even know where to start. I mean, I just had this overwhelming feeling of being blessed because I'm not there anymore. I've been housed for a year and a half, you know, and I have kitty cats and I, I guess I kind of have that brand new car feeling, you know, <laughs> you know, and I just, it's, you know, amazing, you know, I'm, I, I don't know where, I, I don't know. I wanted to die, you know, and I'm so glad that I'm alive right now. Um, it's about all I really have to say, <laughs> right? Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much for sharing. Ms. Irene Johnson, thank you. Before we um, go into remembrances, I was so grateful that um, uh, Mr. Jack Via um, reminded us of our homeless commissioners. And I also want to acknowledge um, all of the people that were part of this planning. Um, Paul Cargania from the Oxnard Police Department, um, our uh, homeless resource provider, and I apologize that I'm, I'm, I'm mixing up your title, um, Jessica Petrio, who does amazing work with our homeless community in Oxnard, and uh, so many people um, were part of this planning. Um, is, are there other folks that we should be acknowledging that I am forgetting about? Yes, Corey was, uh, Corey Branchflower, who's in, um, uh, from Shelter Care Resources, um, does amazing work with the homeless in our community also, so thank you, Corey. So now we wanted to open up a space um, because this isn't just supposed to be for those in the community to talk to those who have lost, but to create a space for those who have lost loved ones in this past year to share a little bit. If you have just a, um, a minute or two uh, to share about someone that we've listed or if there's someone that we didn't include on the list or that you just want to remember today, um, we want to open up that space. Um, for you to share. So I would just like to invite um, people to come forward and so we can have a few moments of sharing the details of the lives of those that have been lost this past year. Um, en español, quiero invitar a los que están recordando seres queridos que hemos mencionado o si han, hay personas que no hemos mencionado um, para compartir un poco de su historia con nosotros. So please come forward if you would like to share something at this time. Hello, my name's Roy Foster. And every night that I was homeless uh, was the longest night of my life. It didn't have separation from one day to the other. Every night I was trying to survive to the next day like everybody else who experiences homeless in Ventura County and anywhere else on the planet. You know, we, uh, we all are here because we care. And that's a beautiful thing because I see a lot of people here that care about people like me who spent over 5,000 days on the streets of Ventura County, homeless, without a place to keep me safe from COVID-19 through this trying, unseen future that we have in front of us. And we all need to join together in any way we can. Indifference, whatever our indifference is there, we need to bury it with all those people that died because this planet is here for all of us to coexist and have shelter to keep us safe from the elements and the predators of this planet. And all I wanna say is I went through it, it was difficult. It was the most difficult thing I've ever done to get off the streets 
it took the rescue mission, Turning Point Foundation, the Ventura Police Department, Universal Unitarian Church, um, so many, the River Community Church, the Harbor Church. I want to say thank you to all the people and all the food pantries and all the shelters that there are to that exist. The Ark, um, Tender Life, the city center. I spent three years of my life rebuilding the city center so people would have a place to go and lay their heads down at night so they could get better and get off of all the state funding and all the things that they go through their life that made them homeless. We all make bad choices. And I'm guaranteed to make one before I go to sleep tonight. You know, I'm guaranteed to make a bunch of bad choices. And I just want to say thank you for showing up and, and be a part of this because this means I made 116 headstones, you know? At least 10 of those people I knew personally. I chose them as friends in life. And they didn't choose to be homeless. It just happened. Thank you. God bless. You still have time to come and share your memories about your loved one, your friend, aunt, uncle. There's no one else. Here comes someone. I've been on and off the streets um, here in Oxnard and Ventura for many years until I got sober four years ago, thanks to the um, Ventura County Rescue Mission and the Lighthouse, and first and foremost, God. Um, I depend on him for everything that I do, but I want to mention just a couple of names, um, but I know a lot of those headstones, and um, it's emotional being here. Sergio Cooper, Morgan Carrillo, just to name a few, were very, very good friends of mine, and I know that I can say this for Sergio. I know that he accepted Christ before he died. And I know that Morgan walked with the Lord as well. So um, I just want to say that I appreciate each and every one of you for coming out here and making these lives matter because they do, you know. They're not invisible and they breathe and they bleed just like we do. And it doesn't matter where you're at or where you're going. If you see somebody there that's in need, just a simple hello, how are you doing, can be the most important thing of their day. It doesn't always take money. It takes love from a community that cares and that and make these people not invisible because I'm one, you know, I'm no different than anybody else that's out here. All of my, a lot of my friends are my family 
to continue to be that that stand there in my life. So I just want to thank you um, to the families as well. You know, being out here with a lot of these people is family, and that's all the family that we had. But I just want to thank you, and um, I just thank God that we're able to just remember them the way that um, they should be remembered. Thank you. My name is Lori Chiswick Lyle. I didn't think I'd be here today. I just came to the park because I feed and clothe homeless people twice a week. And I did know Jennifer who passed away and it really it was hard to hear that she passed away. And um, I'm here to honor my late father, Alvin Walter Chiswick, who died last year. He was almost 85 and he lived a lovely life, very blessed. And he was one of the most generous people I ever have known. And during my father's Zoom memorial, because we couldn't have a funeral, the rabbi reminded everyone to carry on my father's legacy. Uh, everyone that knew him knew how generous he was. And so I'm doing that by helping in the ways that I can here. And for all the people that passed away, I, I, I care about all the homeless people here. I didn't know everyone. And may their memories be a blessing and may their souls rest in peace. Thank you. I work at the Mercy House Shelter at the Armory on K Street. Uh, Jeffrey Holly, Debbie Loftus, and Lisa Peralta were all guests of ours this year. Um, Jeffrey was just a huge music lover, especially the Grateful Dead. And he had just gone to go see a Dead and Company show that he was very, very excited about. Debbie was incredibly persistent, stubborn, <laughs> um, just very inspirational to all of our other guests. And uh, I didn't know Lisa very well, but I've heard that she was very vibrant and only beautiful things about her. Just wanted to share them also. Thank you. Greetings, everyone. Mercy, hallelujah. You know, uh, I was thinking in 1971, Marvin Gaye bring out a song, it's called, What's Going On? And that is the year that I came to this country and I was homeless. And I had to hang in there for five years homeless. And what's going on? So I've always lived my life in the United States homeless. Always thinking, you know, I was brought here, I gotta wait, this is homeless. So what do I do? I have to take care of business, try to survive try to make it. So what's going on? And from that time, many things was going on. So we know that because of certain things with human beings, we got carried away, but it's still good because we are back together. And we thank the Creator, the Most High, for bringing us back together. And we thank Him for Joe Biden to make a way a light to shine so we can have grace and mercy. So homeless, yes, I'm homeless. I'm still living on my life like I'm homeless because I was brought to this home. And Marvin Gaye remind me of what's going on. So what's going on, my people? Let's wake up. We know that in our Christian Bible told us we have to go through what, nine plagues or something like that. So this might be two, three, we don't know. We have plenty more to go. So we have to stand strong as people and come together. Thank you so much. I may the creator, the most high, our Lord and Savior, continue to heal our hearts and soul. This way we can have the love to give to everybody. So what's going on? Let me know. Thank you. And mercy may the Holy Spirit be with each one of us. Give thanks and praise once again. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jababa. Thank you. We're gonna have um, Pastor Al Duff come to blow the shofar. And right after Pastor Al Duff, we're gonna have uh, Corey Blanch to bring us a uh, music selection. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. All right, I know you're out there. I can hear you breathing. God bless you. Merry Christmas, Feliz Navidad. I just have to share just a little bit before I release the sound of the shofar. I was just in this park standing and remembering years ago, I have to, I have to date myself as the late 60s where they used to have the lighting of the Christmas tree. 
It was a big thing for the city. I think it was that tree right over there, if I'm not mistaken. And I used to be on my dad's shoulders, Al Duff Sr. right over there. And I'd have my little ugly uh, Christmas sweater on, and, but we came and, and, uh, and, and watched it. And it was a, a joy in the air. There was expectation in the air, in the season. So I want to also encourage you and release that joy and expectation into each and every one of you because Jesus is the reason for the season. And you might be out of a home. You might be challenged with accommodations right now, but he's with you. You know, Jesus didn't even have a home. The birds of the air were fed, he says, in the word of God, but Jesus didn't have a place to lay his head. He stayed here. He stayed there. So he was homeless, if you will, or challenged with a home. But I wanted to encourage you because myself, I've been born and raised and done a few things in the city and outside, moved back here. But I'm no better than each and every one of you. I'm not. Might have a nice suit on, a nice show far from Israel. But I'm no better than each and every one of you. We're the same in his eyes. It's an issue. It's a matter of the heart. God sees our heart, not our stuff, not our things, not our accomplishments and trophies and, and things, uh, little certificates of accomplishment. He sees our heart. So I love what Pastor Afatia did early on. He invited, he, he led us in the, in the prayer so that we may be with our Heavenly Father who created each and every one of us for such a time as this. So I want to bless you. I want to thank uh, the pastors who put it, this together, the Homeless Commission and the other services. My old uh, friend and neighbor, Jack Villa, God bless you. And all those that are working for you because we're here because we love you. We want to bless you. We want to see God's best for each and every one of your lives. Now the shofar is one of the most ancient wind instruments from our Judeo-Christian beginnings and foundations which is the roots of this country, the foundation of this country is in, in Hebrew, is Jewish. And Christmas is that time that we focus on the Christ, Jesus, the reason for the season. There are four basic sounds. One is to get your attention. One is to release uh, the sound of war. One is to call a solemn assembly. And one is to release blessing. I want to go through that because we, what we want to release today is more compassion in this city Hallelujah. Strategy for are those that are homeless, that are homebound right now. And as we're in agreement and we say amen, after I release the sound, thus be it so. And look for things to change because I want to I just pray peace and expectation for the new year. That God has good things for each and every one of you, each and every one of your household. Amen. All right. Here we go. Be blessed and encouraged in Jesus' name. Merry Christmas.
God, we come saying thank you for the lives of these, our, our brothers and sisters who you've called on to home, God. We thank you for their, their life. We thank you for their love. We thank you for their birth. We thank you for their friendship, God. And God, we pray that in the days to come, God, you will just send the comforter to us, God, to comfort our spirit, God. There's so much going on in the world, God. As our brother said earlier, what the world needs now is love. God, we pray that during this time where you sent us your most precious son, the best gift of love that you had to give, God, we pray that you will be with us, continue to lead us, continue to guide us. God, we pray for our government leaders, God, continue to lead and, and guide them and give them godly wisdom, God, to help solve the problems of our community. God, we pray for all of us who are here today. God, continue to be with us. Cover us. Help us be an extension of you here on earth. These are all things we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Pastor Benjamin. I just want to acknowledge all the participants. Of course, Reverend Melissa... Campbell from All Saints Episcopal Church, Reverend Dr. Frieda Wiggins from His Dream Fulfilled Center, Pastor Apatia from Life Church in Camarillo, Dr. Ted Lucas, All Saints Episcopal Church, Pastor Al Duff Jr., The Victory Zone, Reverend Benjamin Thomas, Bethel AME, Corey Branch, Elder Care Resources, Eric Sundstrom, I pray I said that right. <laughs> My friend, Oxnard Assistant Chief of Police, Jessica Pertilla, Oxnard Homeless Assistance Program Coordinator, Irene Johnson, Advocate for the Homeless, Oxnard Commission on Homelessness, Jack Villa, El Drive, uh, I'm saying it right. Help me out. El Adronro. Alejandro, thank you. Uh, free Grow, I'm, I'm just going to leave it right there. Okay. Renee Camper Stewart, Ruby DeRoss, David Little, and Yuko Okono. Amen. Thank you all. And I really want to thank Praise the Beach team for all coming out today. You are truly a blessing to the homeless service. We love you all and we pray for you all. God bless you, and we're here to serve you. And don't forget, if there's anyone who's hungry, 2nd and C Street, there's a hot meal being handed out for, um, I think, until 5 p.m. So you can, you can join the Garden Church is sponsoring it this week. Thank you again to all who participated and who attended. Gracias por todos los que participaron y asistieron hoy en día.